looks like some more snow on the way across portions of the area. Also a little bit of wind across much of the area as well. Watch this warnings and advisories. You can see the area in the pink here. Those are winter storm warnings. Basically includes Jackson as well as the Tetons, Yellowstone Park, and also some winter weather advisories in effect surrounding that. It includes the Star Valley, uh, after enough toward Alpine, the Salt Wyoming Range, the Wind Rivers, as well as the Absorcas, and maybe some snow elsewhere as well. Now all these uh, winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, are in effect from now through about 11 o'clock on tomorrow, that would be Wednesday. Now as we time out the impacts, snow spread into the west during the day today. Now conditions won't be too bad there until later in the afternoon when the snow intensity starts picking up a little bit. And some strong winds favoring those southwest flow areas, mainly Muddy Gap up through Casper, maybe around the Lander area as well, Jeffrey City. Now the main impact from this thing is going to be tonight, especially across the west periods of moderate to heavy snow, especially between about 6 o'clock and about 3 o'clock this morning. could be some very heavy snowfall rates there, especially in the Jackson Valley. There will be some snow showers spreading east of the divide as well, especially in northern Wyoming. A little more uncertainty for accumulation there. I'll show you that in just a minute. Then on Wednesday, improving conditions. Snow tapering off in the west, just some lingering snow showers across the area, and the wind slowly decreasing as well. Now, uh, let's take a look at the wind first. You can see where that strongest wind is, basically Jefferson City up toward Casper, gust of 40, 50, maybe 55 miles per hour. But just about anybody could have a chance of seeing a pretty decent wind gust out of this, 20, 30, 40 miles per hour. Higher elevations up here, maybe gust of 70, that's up on top of the mountains, though. Now look at the probabilistic stuff right now. You can see a chance of one inch of snow or more. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, 100% chance across where we have those advisories in effect, about 88% around Dubois. Now, I want to call your attention up here across northern Wyoming. Good setup for maybe some snow banding up here. There's going to be a pretty strong jet moving across here. This will be the after uh, sunset tonight, especially I think between about 9 o'clock and about 4 o'clock. 84% chance of seeing an inch of snow around the Cody area. But anywhere I'd say from Cody, Grable onto the north. Could pick up a couple inches of snow, maybe a little bit more if snow banding sets up. As you heard me say before, it's very hard to pinpoint. Not much of a chance of seeing that across southern areas, though. Bump that up to six inches. You see, the chance really drops off east of by a very, very small chance around Cody, probably not that much. The reason why we have those warnings in effect, very good chance of the Jackson Valley seeing at least six inches of snow. And across the uh, Star Valley, about 30% around after, more up toward Alpine that flows favorable for them, and 100% chance across the mountains. Now, the likely uh, least amount of snow will get at least this much across the area. Maybe just a coating across areas east of the divide. Turn our attention toward where the main impacts are going to be across uh, western Wyoming. Anywhere from about 2 to 5 inches across the Star Valley, 4 to 6 at least across the uh, Jackson Valley. And I'd say at least a foot across the higher elevations of the Tetons. This is where the main impact of the storm is going to be. Now, the likely highest amount we'll see across the area, again, west where most is going to be, could be locally 7 to 10 across the uh, Star Valley. That might be a little high there, maybe up to a foot around the Jackson Valley. You see those really bright colors here? Yeah, things set up right. Some places could get pick up 30 inches of snow. Again, that's an outlier there, but a lot of moisture coming in with this. So localized areas could pick up a lot of snow, about maybe up to 18 inches around Old Faithful. Mounts drop those you have toward Mammoth, maybe 4 inches around Pinedale, small chance of that, about less than an inch around Kemmerer. Now, I was talking about the uh, Northern portions of the area, east of the divide, maybe four inches around Cody if things set up right, about two inches around Powell. Anywhere north of this line, I think Buffalo, Grable, Cody, out of the north. Snow bending sets up. You could wake up to several inches of snow here, but you just can't pinpoint that right now. And it's one of these situations where amounts could vary across a short area. Now, the most likely amount of snow we'll see out of this, see across the north up here, anywhere from about trace, one to two inches, maybe a little bit more around Cody. Not much down here, maybe just some flurries. Maybe one to three around Dubois, one to three around Pinedale, but the emphasis, northwestern Wyoming, anywhere from about three to 48 inches across the uh, Star Valley, anywhere from, say, about six to 12 inches across the Jackson Valley. Teton's getting the most out of this, though. Generally about one to two feet, maybe locally a little bit higher up here in southwest Yellowstone. Here's our resources. If you want weather, just go to our website, weather.gov slash RIW. Road conditions, Wild Road dead info on the web. You want to call them on the phone, 511 in state, 188 Wild Road out of state. You want to take a look at the webcams for yourself, just go to our homepage, our local programs tab, and click on webcams. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy your day.